619 now. Well, a lot of families are trying to squeeze in some last minute road trips before all the kids go back to school. All this summer, Matt Hamill has shown you some of the best getaways in all of the Midwest. Well, this morning, he's off again to a landmark in Burlington. Give him a little curtsy. Hello, I'm Brenda's Princesses. On this day, it's rehearsals for the youth theater play Hoka Polka. <laughs> Very cute. But when you look behind the curtain, the real magic is that the Capitol Theater in Burlington is even still here. The classic Art Deco on 3rd Street dazzled this river town when it opened in 1937. Ringing with a clash of steel on steel, seething with the intrigues of the court of King Henry VIII. Crowds packed the house for the first film, a talkie, The Prince and the Pauper. The good times lasted 40 years. It closed in 1977. Our last film was The Carrie. So quite a difference from The Prince and the Pauper to Carrie. But manager Colleen Smith says the real nightmare followed. After those classic days of Casablanca and Gone with the Wind, the Capitol sat empty for decades, waiting to be torn down. Four years ago, in one of Filmland's darkest hours, ten men, the so-called Hollywood Ten. But then, someone in town saw The Majestic, a movie about saving a grand old movie house. And the Capitol Theater Foundation was born. With grants and fundraising by passionate fans of film, the town tackled a huge task. When they came in, it was in a horrible mess. The stairways to the balcony that once looked like a bomb dropped are now beautiful. The trashed lobby is now a welcoming wonder. The mezzanine that made a good home for pigeons became a much better place for a beverage. Where the theater walls were bare, colorful sconces glow in the darkness. And the old collapsing stage is now bigger and better, and so are the seats, 370 built for comfort. Even the rusty old marquee out front is back with names up in lights. Burlington's Capitol Theater finally reopened sparkling new just two years ago. The members of the foundation hadn't decided they wanted to redo this, it wouldn't have happened. Today, you can expect almost anything to grace the stage at the Capitol, but they haven't forgotten their roots. Movies still roll on the big screen six days a week. The whole neighborhood is out of power, uh, except for a house about two blocks up. <laughs> Mike, is that door locked? I'll check. I'll check. Films you might not find elsewhere, like Coherence, called the best sci fi of the year. The John Penton story, a documentary about the mud-running motorcycle racer who completely changed the industry. But now the bees are disappearing. A few years ago, they started dying. And the indie film called More Than Honey that explores why so many bees are dying and what happens to us if they disappear. And there are live performances too, like the deep Texas blues of the Jeremiah Johnson Band coming this fall. From groups to symphonies and theater to movies, the centerpiece of the downtown is back in Burlington. It's modern and yet it still holds the old deco and uh, some memories. So much history here and so many great events. All you got to do is step up here and buy a ticket. And we will put a link to all of the great events here at the Capitol Theater on our website. For now, we are road tripping in Burlington. I'm Matt Hamill.